she was seven good morning it's morning okay i woke up early i have kids they're in school i got my coffee and i wanted to talk to y'all today about people who are upset with other people that have high self-esteem there are like certain people in this world who think that people should have low self-esteem if they look a certain way, act a certain way, have a certain amount of money, you know, uh, are just in a certain place in their life. They think they should have low self-esteem automatically. So when that person does not, you know, have that low self-esteem and they have high self-esteem, the other person is upset with them. And they're like, well, you shouldn't be thinking that about yourself. You shouldn't be feeling this way about yourself. You know, you're this, you're that. And then, and then they try to lower your self-esteem. Those people right there, they don't want you to rise. They want you exactly where they are. I mean, where you are. They like you because you make them look better. Okay. They like to hang around people with low self-esteem because it makes them feel good about themselves because they don't have high self-esteem. Okay. So if you're around someone that's always telling you, what are you looking at? Why are you always in the mirror? You know, you're not that, you don't need to be eating that. You, do, you know, if you're always around somebody that's telling you this and trying to lower your self-esteem and try to be upset with you when you feel good about yourself, they are a person that does not feel good about themselves and they want to keep you lower than them to boost their self-esteem because they can't do it by themselves. Okay, so... Um, so I have a friend and she is really, really pretty, but she's short and she's, uh, you know, overweight and, uh, but she walks around like she's a size zero. She talks to people like she's a supermodel. She treats people like she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Okay. And <laughs> some people have a problem with her having too much self-esteem because of her weight, because of her height, because of, you know, society's view on what beauty is. Now, her view on what beauty is, is probably not what society's view is because she's like super confident. Now, some people say, well, she's overcompensating. No, she's not. Believe me, she will not. If a guy comes up to her, she will not even give him the time of day unless, you know, these things are on the checklist okay she she's not doing that just as a front it's it's serious and some people are so rude and they say well why is she, why does she act like that it's not right for her to be that confident you know she she acts more confident than you know most people who are considered a, a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 in beauty and I'm like well maybe that's how she sees herself and maybe that's how she is um uh, conveying herself to the world and some people respond very positive to it and some people are taken back by it like oh my god why is this lady you know thinking she she must be delusional no she's not delusional she's just super confident and she believes in herself and she thinks she's beautiful so if you have a problem with people having too much confidence or if someone has a problem with you having too much confidence they don't understand that having confidence is about how you feel about yourself. It's not about what the world thinks about you. It's not about what this person might say to you, what this person might think about you. No, it's about how you feel from within. If that's how that girl feels from within, then by all means, let her be as confident as she like. But I can't stand when people, you know, try to say, oh, well, she shouldn't be feeling herself because she doesn't look like this or, you know, she can't get the type of man she's looking for because, you know, she's this or she's that. It's totally not true because men, above all things, are attracted to confidence. Um, you can have the most beautiful woman in the world and if she's always saying, I don't feel good. I, I don't look pretty. Am I skinny enough? Are my teeth white? Are they straight? Am my makeup on right? I just don't feel comfortable in these clothes. I can't eat that. I got to lose weight. I don't want to go there because people are going to be staring at me. No, I can't wear this. Um, you know, and they might be perfect, but that attitude 
and that low self-esteem will push men back. They were like, oh, you know, I need somebody who can, you know, who's going to eat a sandwich and who's going to uh, feel good about, you know, going out in public and not always be scared about what people are going to say or think about them and not stressing over if their teeth are straight or perfectly right, white and have to go to the dentist and get whitening. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be with that type of person because it's too much work mentally. Now you get like somebody who has high self-esteem and it's not perfect and they're like, boy, come on, let's go, you know. My hair looks good the way it is. I don't, you know, psst, you know, let's go, let's go out to eat, let's go to IHOP, you know, let me let me put on some mascara and some lipstick and I'm ready because I, I, you know, I have natural beauty, you know. <laughs> that type of woman, no matter how um, unperfect she is, will be like, the guys will be like, oh yeah, she's so cool, I like her and she is pure. She does. She'll start believing what she's saying. You know, he'll start being like, yeah, she does look good with less makeup. Oh, yeah, her hair is not, it ain't that bad. You know, it looks decent. You know, at least she's not going to make me starve to death sitting here waiting on uh, her uh, put a ton of makeup on her face. You know, <laughs> she she looks good. She looks fine. You know, at least I get to eat. You know, and then they're not going to be worried about, um, you know, stuff that most people who are truly insecure and not confident in themselves but have the looks worry about so y'all don't down people who are confident in the way that they were created don't down them because if they like it then you should love it okay um a lot of people will see some of my videos that when i talk about um like men and how they should be this and how they should be that and, um and they'll say, well, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll start talking about me. They'll start trolling me on my own videos and say, well, you're this and you're that. And that I said, yes, I am. And, and that's what they like, obviously. <laughs> I said, I'm where you probably will never be. But, you know, I, I don't look like a supermodel. I'm not the most uh, perfect looking woman in the world. No, but I have, I have confidence. I know what I want and I don't settle for less. That's all you got to do. You don't have to look a certain way. You just have to know what you want and don't settle for less. Okay. All these men are uh, upset because they cannot find a woman who looks the way they want them to look, have the attitude they want them to have, and then go out and work for somebody else for 12 hours a day and come back to them and, um, you know, cater to them as the king of the world no ain't no woman gonna do that <laughs> i mean there are some women that will but obviously those men overlook those women and don't want them so y'all can't have your cake and eat it too unless y'all understand one thing guys who have issues with women that have too much confidence women who have too much confidence to a man intimidate them and the reason why they intimidate them is because they have to keep up now they have to measure up now they have to have standards themselves they have to get in order they have to be disciplined you know they can't they can't just be like they were so that's why a lot of people have trouble with overly confident people because now they have to look at themselves okay so I will see y'all later thanks for watching thumbs up if you like this video comment below I'll try to um, answer all the uh, talk to y'all in the comments if y'all leave a comment so I'll see y'all later have a good morning oh happy September it's September 2nd I can't wait for fall to come thumbs up if you can't wait for fall to come the season of Pumpkin lattes, hot chocolate, cool, crisp air in the morning, no more humidity. Cause y'all look, <laughs> I had to cut my ends, but it's healthy. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.